Praise the Lord. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this hour and for this moment. Thank you, Lord, because you always turn tragedy to strategy. And Lord, we pray every problem you'll turn to promotion and progress in Jesus' name. I will pray, Lord, you touch every life. You move everyone. And Lord, the ladder we started climbing already will not stop until we get to the very top in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. We can sit down. We come at this time to look at what it means. To turn tragedy into strategy. We're looking at Genesis chapter 49. And I read from verse 22. Genesis chapter 49 verse 22. Joseph is a fruitful bough. Even a fruitful bough by a well whose branches run over the wall. The archers were sorely grieved. They sorely grieved him and they shot at him and hated him. But his bow abode in strength and the arms of his hand were very strong. They were strong by the hand of the mighty God of Jacob. From thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. Then we learn about a young man. We learn about a youth that allowed God to work in his life. And even though he had problems, Precious persecution, opposition, slander, difficulties, challenges, yet he did not allow any of those things that were like dragons to drag, to drag him down. Through it all, and in it all, he still had the success and the progress that the Lord had ordained for him. That's why we are looking at his life. And we're going to see how to turn our tragedy into strategy. As we look at this, I want you to look at your life. Did anything happen to you in the past that appeared negative as if the world was upside down as if he here he is he is gone down he might never come up it happened like that to joseph but he came up you will come up i said you will come up tragedies problems difficulties pressures dangers whatever they are challenges they always happen in life but blessed is the boy and blessed is the girl that will not allow any of those things to keep him down. And you come back to the place you really be belong, turning tragedy into strategy. We're going to divide the message to three parts. Number one, past pattern of setbacks. It happened to other people before. And when it happens today, it's not a strange thing. Past, pattern, or setbacks. Number two, practical programming for success. In spite of what happened in the past, you can reprogram your life. You can repackage your life. You can rechannel the stream. And you can refocus your attention. So that that success, you'll still make it practical programming for success. Number three, 
positive progress towards the summit positive progress towards the summit number one what's number one did i hear you past pattern of search back let's look at how it all began genesis chapter 37 genesis chapter 37 and as we look at genesis chapter 37 we'll see how the problem the pressure the persecution the past pattern of setback started in joseph's life genesis 37 i'm reading from verse reading from verse 8 and his brethren said to him shalt thou indeed reign over us or shall thou indeed have dominion over us and they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words hatred started it all after that hatred they began to plan how they will get rich of him. Verse 18. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. They ganged up against him. They held a meeting against him. They went to the back door behind the curtain and they began to brainstorm, to sing, to conspire. How do we get rich of him? Verse 19, and they said one to another, Behold, the dreamer cometh. They didn't even call him his name now. They began to call him a nickname. In verse 20, come now therefore. And let us slay him and cast him into some pit. And we will say, Some evil beast have devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. That was their plan, their plot, and the plight they wanted to get him into. They said, let us slay him. Nobody can slay the dreamer. I said nobody can slay the dreamer. Because that dream will come alive. That dream will come true. That ambition will take place. And that top of the ladder, you will reach it in Jesus' name. I say something came to Joseph. I call that thing by a little word. And I call it problem everybody say problem say it well problem but you know there are people many people have different attitudes to problems some people cry some people lie down for some people when a problem comes it's like it's all over it's all over education is over salvation is over church is over Bible reading is over. Holiness is over. Taking an uncompromising stand is over. Honestly contending for the faith once delivered unto the saints is all over. Look at me. I have a problem. And the problem stops them. But you know Joseph, when a problem came, that problem did something to him. Write the word problem. Problem. P R. What's the next alphabet? O. The next one. B. The next one. L. The next one. E. The next one. M. Problem. When the problem came, Joseph said that problem P is a pointer is a pointer everybody pointing at me here is a dreamer they don't have any dream here is a dreamer 
They don't have any ambition. Here is a dreamer. They don't have any goal. Here is a dreamer. And they don't have anywhere they're going. Here is a dreamer. All they can do is sit around and plan and plot. All they can do is point at me. I must be significant. My name is in everybody's mouth. Everybody is mentioning my name. Everybody is saying something about me. They will not even talk about themselves. They will not talk about the goals they want to reach. They are not thinking about what they are going to achieve. All they are talking about is me. He said, this is great. He saw problem as a pointer. They are pointing to him that that is the champion. That is the dreamer. And they wanted to bring that scene down. And so whenever any problem comes to you, just understand, ah, Satan is pointing my direction. All the people are pointing my direction. And it shows I am somebody. Say, I am somebody. If you were a nobody, nobody will regard you. Who regards a nobody? We see a nobody on the side of the road. We don't even turn our eyes to look at them. We just go, we just go ahead. Is somebody, is somebody who is now making a name, who is going up, that they put the problem on, he saw the problem as a pointer. R is a reminder, a reminder, a reminder. Whenever any problem comes to you, remind yourself. And remember that that problem is coming so as to challenge you. Because those people are seen that you are going to become a star. You are going to become a champion. That's why the problem is there. The problem only comes to remind you. It is a reminder. Oh, opportunity. The problem is just an opportunity to test you. Whether you are able to stand your ground. Whether you are able to hold to your dream. Whether you are able to still say no matter what no matter how no matter who i am going on the problem is just an opportunity what's the next letter b is a bell ringer the bell ringer they are ringing the bell they are ringing the bell they are telling me wake up they are telling me develop a strategy they are telling me move on they are telling me that all those people are there and even though they are true i'm going to go through the midst of them the problem is just a bell ringer is telling me change classes move to the next level and now understand that you have to develop your spine you have to develop your backbone. You have to develop the muscles on your feet. It's just a bell ringer calling you. Come to the next level. L is a lesson. There's a lesson to learn from this. A problem is a lesson. It's teaching me a lesson that even though people are close to me, not all the people that are close to you love progress. Not everybody that is close to you loves a dream. Everybody wants to remain in the city of nobody, in the city of familiar. They want to remain in that familiar ground where everybody is just tilling the ground. Everybody is watching over sheep. Everybody is just merry going round. That's teaching you a lesson that it is not everybody in life that comes around you that is going to lift you up to the place you ought to be problem e that's just an experience an experience it's an experience was passed through in life and we need those experiences you know the problems that come the challenges that come and we make use of those stumbling blocks to become a stepping stone it is an experience m that problem is a motivator, motivator, is a mentor, is a coach, is a trainer. It is that problem that motivates you, that mentors you, that monitors you, that mends you, that measures you, that tells you, hey, look at where you are and see how the problem has come and then trainer. That problem will then lift you up and come to the next level. That's the way Joseph saw the problem. 
That's why he knew. Although all those things are there, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm still moving on. The challenges are there. I'm still moving on. The past experiences that came, I'm still moving on. Look at your problem that way as a pointer, as a reminder, as an opportunity to excel, as a bell ringer, as a lesson to learn something from, as an experience, as a motivator. And that problem will not keep you down in Jesus' name. I need a good, good amen. amen. Point number two. What's point number two? Practical programming for success. Do you use computer at all? How many of you use computers? Anybody there? Computer? Can I see your hand? Computer? Raise it up very well. Praise God. I said praise God. So I'm talking to computer literate people. You know what? What goes in is what comes out. If you don't put a program inside that computer, the computer will do nothing. There's nothing to respond to. If you put something good in, then something good will come out. You need to put some programming into this computer that you carry about in the head your brain practical programming and it is when you put some programs in that it does what will come out in fact you say garbage in garbage out good in good out what goes in is what comes out and so don't stuff your mind with dirty pictures dirty things put some good good things into this computer and put some good programs into this computer and stuff yourself with something good that you know by the grace of god this is where i am going you will reach there in jesus name how did this joseph have something good inside let's look at this genesis chapter 39 verses 2 and 3 Genesis chapter 39, verses 2 and 3. And the Lord was with Joseph. The Lord will be with you. And he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. And that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand everything you do the lord will make you to prosper you see he did something he was a doer he was a doer he wasn't a loafer you know just moving around just hanging around just loafing around just having a nice time just taking fresh air just walking on the street just playing ping pong it wasn't just while in the way life while in the way time he was not killing time. Killing time is killing life. You know, there are some people, all they know how to do is just kill time. You kill time, you're killing life. You're killing success. You're killing progress. And you're killing greatness. Gather the times together. Gather the moments together. Gather the periods together. Do something. And he did something. He was a doer. You will be a doer in Jesus' name. In fact, if you look at, hey, let me show you the words that we use about this young man. Hey, let, let's, let's look at that again. Verse 3. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. And that the Lord made all that he was the next word. Tell me, tell me, did he made it to prosper in his son? He did something, do something every day, crouch each day with progressive, positive, practical activity. Do something. Let's look at verse 21. In verse 21, and then I'll go to verse 22. 
And the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the, and the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison. And whatsoever they did, he was the, tell me the next word, doer of it. He was a doer. And I said, you put some practical programming into your system. That's for success. He did something. And it was a doer. Look at chapter 41. Chapter 41. And look at verse 46. 41. 46. And Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. And Joseph, what? Tell me. Went out. Do you see that he was not a lazy drone? He was not an idle, indolent young man. He did something. He went out from the presence of Pharaoh and he went throughout all the land of Egypt. And so that's what we need to learn if you're going to succeed and you're going to turn tragedy to strategy. Do something. You know, look up here. Look up here. When a tragedy has taken place, there's something negative. It brings something to your life. Uh, what kind of tragedy? Let me, let me just illustrate for you. You know, there are times you might miss a grade, a class, a session, an opportunity. That session, what happened? You didn't need to make it that session. That's a tragedy. When that tragedy happens, it makes us generally inactive and passive. And then we sit down at home. What happened to you, Mary? I didn't make this session. It's so bad. And then you stay in that corner there and you are not active, and the devil will be talking to you, aren't you miserable, aren't you unfortunate, what you ever do in life, wants to stay there, wants to stay there, the devil will put in all this excreta on your head, and wants to stay there, and then the tears will be coming out, then you will lose appetite, you will not be able to do anything, at such a time, when a tragedy has happened to you, the brain will go out of functioning. Your mind will not be able to sing. The only thing you want to do is to cry and cry and cry. Tragedy. How do you turn tragedy into strategy? How do you turn setback into success? By doing something. Go out and do something. You see, Joseph, instead of sitting down in the corner of the house and crying and mourning and weeping and shedding tears, he got up. He did something. He became a doer. He was active. And then, as he moved around, he went out from Pharaoh's palace and he began to do what he ought to do. You will do something. I said you will do something. What did Joseph have? Because we are told, and God was with him. Number one, he had God. He had God. Say, I have God. I didn't hear you very well. You have God on your side. You have God with you. He is your father. And Jesus is your savior. And the Holy Ghost is your helper. He had God. You have God. Number two. Number two. He had a goal. He had a goal. He said, I'm still getting there. I have a dream. And I'm going to achieve. I have a goal. I have a destiny. 
have a place I'm going. He had God, number one. Number two, he had a goal. Number three, he had a guide. He had a guide. He had a guide. That's why Pharaoh said, can we find another man like this who has the spirit of God? And the spirit of God was there to guide him in interpreting those dreams guide him in giving wisdom unto the senators of egypt guide him in giving instruction even unto pharaoh he had a guide he had a guide when you become born again you are saved after that salvation there is sanctification after that sanctification there is the spirit baptism baptized in the holy ghost and it is that baptism in the holy ghost that makes the holy ghost to become resident within you and then he guides you and guides you and guides you into all the truths that you need to know number one he had what he had who number three he had what Number three, he had what? Number four, he had gifts. He had gifts. He had gifts. The gift of interpretation. You know, all those things, they work for him. They work for him. God, goal, guide, gifts. He had all that. And they worked for him. He brought his gift out. And you know, some people, they hide their gifts they hide their gifts i don't want anybody to know that i have any gift i don't want anybody to know that i have any talent i don't want anybody to know that i have any skill i don't want anybody to know i have any ability they hide their gift but in the case of joseph he was not hiding his gift and it was a gift it was a gift that turned the tragedy into strategy you know he saw those two people in the prison he said why are you sad today oh they said because we have dreams and there's nobody to interpret the dream and he had the gift of interpretation he said tell me your dream tell me your dream tell me your dream i'll bring my gifts out and it will work for you Bring your gift out and your tragedy will be turned to strategy in Jesus' name. But you know some people, I am sad today because of that I will not use my gift. I dropped out in this session because of that I'm not going to use my gift. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and there's nobody to supply my need. Because of that, I'm not going to use my gift. I lost that thing. Because I lost that thing, I'm not going to use my gift. Come on. It's when you bring that gift out, in the midst of that tragedy, in the midst of that setback, in the midst of that problem, in the midst of that challenge, you bring out that gift, then it is a gift will turn your tragedy into strategy in Jesus' name. He had number one, he had number two, he had number three, he had number four, he had number five, he had grace, he had grace, he had grace. Everybody say grace. Now, I'm going to do something for you. Write grace in another place now, in a corner somewhere there. And let, let's, let's look at what grace is. Grace, write it vertically. G-R-A-C and E. Thank you very much. Are you ready? God's resources against cruel enemies praise the lord all those cruel enemies i don't worry i'm not worried anymore you are not worried anymore are you worried i said are you worried all those cruel enemies god's resources against 
cruel enemies Judah Reuben Simeon Issachar all of them God's resources against cruel enemies Potiphar's wife Potiphar everybody that said Joseph will not move on did he move on I said did he move on anybody any cruel enemy that said you sitting here looking at me now that said you will not move on will you move on of course yes will you get to the top of course yes why because of grace God's resources against cruel enemies you will trample over them you will walk over them and you will still get to the place you need to get to in Jesus name number six number six godliness godliness you know that Joseph when that woman said come young man Come and do this. Oh, he said, no, people like us, we don't do that. People like us, we believe in holiness, we don't do that. We believe in sanctification, we don't do that. We believe in purity, we don't do that. Purer than diamond. Diamond, I'm supposed to shine in life. And I'm going to shine. I was shining when I was in my father's house. I was shining when I was on the road to shake him. And I was going to my brothers. And even when they grabbed me and they took my coat of many colors, the sin to shine was still inside my heart. I'm still shining. And now in Potiphar's house, I'm not going to lose my shine. I'm not going to lose my salvation. I'm not going to lose my sanctity and sanctification just because I am here. I am destined to shine. I will keep on shining. Anybody going to keep on shining there? Where are they? I see you, I see you. Your light will never go on. Godliness. He had that godliness within him. Number seven, number seven, greet. Greet. G-R-I-T. That means tenacity. That means standing there. That means holding on. That means keeping on. That means uncompromising. That means I am here. This is where I stand. And nobody will shift my focus. He had greed. And that's the reason why eventually his tragedy was turned into strategy. And you have that already. You have God on your side. You have a goal you want to reach. You have a guide. He is the Holy Spirit. You have gifts. is the talents the Lord has implanted in you. And you have grace. And that's God's resources against cruel enemies. And you have godliness. And you have greed. You will make it. I said you will make it. What's point number three now? Positive progress towards the summit. We're reaching there. I said we're reaching there. I said you are reaching there. Let's look at it now. Positive progress. We're looking at chapter 42. Chapter 42. I'm reading from verse 6. And Joseph was a governor over the land. And he was, he it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brethren came and bowed down themselves before, before him with their faces to, to where? To the earth. Now I'm asking a question. Did the dream come true? Will your dream come true? Did anybody stop Joseph? Will anybody stop you? No. Did any of the brothers of Joseph offer to help him? No. Even though they didn't help him, did God help him? Yeah. Even if nobody helps you, 
Will God help you? All those people that conspire together and the search will bring him down. Will bring him down. Will bring him down. Did they succeed? Will your enemies succeed? The people that said me, never. Look at me. God forbid. I will never bow down to Joseph. Me, not me. Let him have his dream. Me, never, never, never. I I'm telling you, I will never bow down to Joseph. Did they bow down? The people that say, ah, you, you, you of all people, you think you will beat me, and you think you will go to the top, and you think you'll be a leader, I'll be a follower, God forbid, never in my life, will they bow down to you? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they're going to bow down in Jesus' name. He got there, I will get there. I said I will get there. That dream will come true. I said that dream will come true. Clear the way. Clear the way. You are ready to move. Clear the way. You are ready to run. Clear the way. Joseph is coming. I said Joseph is coming. The governor is coming. And the achiever is coming. And the conqueror is coming. Where is he? Where is he? He is coming. Where are you? Why don't you stand up? Let's clear the way for you. Let's clear the way for you. You are coming. You are coming. You are going to reach there. You are coming. You are going to reach there. Clear the way for Joseph. Clear the way for Joseph. I'm clearing the way for you now. I'm clearing the way for you now. Come on, come on, come on. And say, oh Lord, I want to reach there. Oh Lord, I want to reach there. Why don't you open your mouth? This is your day. And this is your time. Every enemy will clear out of the way. Every evil will clear out of the way. Every demon will clear out of the way. There is nothing stopping you. There is nothing disturbing you. We clear the way for you. God will clear the way for you. Heaven will clear the way for you. Jesus will clear the way for you. The angels will clear the way for you. There is no hindrance and there is nothing to stop you. The way is clear. Come on, get up and move. You will make it. He made it, you will make it. He succeeded, you will succeed. The everlasting arms are under you. The promises of God are yes and amen in your life. The way is clear. The way is clear. The way is clear. Come on, get up and move. Dust your books again. Pick the books again. Get back to school again. Get that profession again. Get that job again. Move out again, move out again. Get something done. Let the Spirit of God engineer you, energize you, get you up. Don't get discouraged. Don't sit back. Don't mourn. And don't fold your hands. This is your day. Forget the past. Get up and move. Joseph moved. Joseph got up and Joseph yielded himself to the assignment of the day. Don't let anything stop you and don't let their comments stop you. It's your day, it's your time. It's a season of activity, it's a season of progress, it's a season of practical, practical performance. Get up and work. Get up and say, Lord, here I am. Lord, here I am. Lord, here I am. I'm not tired yet. I will never give up. I will never give in. I will never surrender. My dream, my goal, my ambition, my aspiration. Never. Never, never, never. Moving on, moving on, moving on. You tell the Lord I'm moving on. 
you tell the Lord I'm moving on whatever the plot I'm moving on whatever the conspiracy I'm moving on whatever the enemies are moving on don't you remember don't you remember you have God you have God you have God and whatever you did the Lord made it to prosper because you had God no sorrow no sadness no tears, no crying, because you have God. You have a goal, you have a goal, you have a goal, you have a goal. Bring it up again, bring it up again, bring it up again. You have a goal, you have a guide rely on your guide don't look at the faces of the enemies don't look at the faces of the enemies rely on your guide as you plan as you pray as you develop strategy as you make a timetable as you take the forms as you fill the forms as you go back to school as you go to perform as you go to act as you go to fill in your role don't look at the conspirators don't look at the enemies look at your guide look at your guide you have grace god's resources against cruel enemies you will conquer them all. You will conquer them all. You will conquer them all. Grace. 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 God's resources against cruel enemies. Godliness. Keep that godliness. Keep that holiness. Keep that sanctification. Keep that purity. Keep it. Hold on to it. Don't allow. Ever, ever, ever. Don't ever allow anything to dent, to stain, to spoil, to defile, to belittle. That holiness and sanctification, godliness, greed, holding on there, tenacity, holding on there, holding on there, holding on there, never allowing anyone, anything to shift your focus. And when you get up to move, when you get up to move, when you get up to move, Everything will clear before you. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord. I'm turning my tragedy into strategy. Be active. Perform. Do, 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 do something. Perform. 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 Do something. Do something. Put all your heart, put all your mind, and put all your will, and put all your grit into it, and say, Lord, nothing, nothing, nothing will ever be able. To stop me. Give all you've got into it. Everything you've got. Your very heart. Your very life. Your very will. Into it. And say Lord. I will succeed. Great. Tenacity. Holding on. Without ever. 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 Ever giving up pray pray your heart out stop the crying and stop the weeping 
and say, Lord, the time has come to get up and move on. And give all your heart, all your soul, all your mind into what you have to do. Your studies, your profession, your career. And say, Lord, from tonight I'm starting. This tragedy I'll turn it to strategy. This setback I'll turn it to success. I will. Nothing stopping me. Activity. Purposeful activity. Planned activity. Positive activity. Practical activity. Programmed activity. Prioritized activity. Progressive activity. Prayerful activity. Moving on. That's how you turn tragedy into strategy. Nothing stopping you. Have more of that grace. More, more, more. More of that grace. More of that grace. God's resources against cruel enemies. Get up and work. Get up and be a doer. Get up. Move out. Tell the Lord, oh Lord, here am I. Oh Lord, here am I. Ready to go. Ready to serve. Ready to move. Ready to pray. Ready to perform. Ready. 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 Nothing ever been able to stop you. Tell the Lord you're making up your mind tonight. And the decisions you take today. The decisions you take today. You'll never, never, never go back on them. Have a heart to succeed. A mind to succeed. A will to succeed. A decision to succeed. Be resolute. Be resolute. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, be resolute about it. Let no enemy, persecutor, opposer ever be so powerful enough as to stop you. When you get up, they'll clear out of the way. Whatever weakness of the past, drop that right there now. Whatever, whatever, whatever failure of the past, drop that right there now. Whatever sorrow of the past, sadness of the past, Weakness of the past, defeat of the past, drop it right there and say it's time. It's not to get up. It's time to get up. It's time to move on. It's time to face the new day. It's time to face a new challenge. Stand well. Square your shoulders. Look ahead, 
fix your mind on that goal. Say, yes, Lord, I'm moving on. Yes, Lord, I'm moving on. Move. 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 Don't stay back. This is the day for the movers and the shakers. Move on. The day for the movers and the shakers. Move on. And don't allow any enemy, any persecutor, any opposer to ever, ever, ever stop you. Don't get tired, don't get tired, don't get tired. Today is the day to put every enemy under your feet. Every challenge under your feet. Every setback under your feet. Every problem under your feet. Every defeat under your feet. This is the day to make up your mind. To make up your mind. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day. Make up your mind. Like Joseph, you have God. You have goal. You have guide. You have grace. You have godliness. You have grit. Greet. You have greed. And you have gifts. Make use of those gifts. Make use of those gifts. Bring them out. They just lie down there. We just keep on crying. Days like this. Times like this. Periods like this, that the periods and the times and the season to make use of that gift. In Jesus' name we pray. Unstoppable concourse in Jesus' name we pray. And if you know, and if you know, and if you know, if you know that the road now is clear before you and the path of progress is clear before you, in Jesus' name we pray. If you know you are going to walk on the serpents and the scorpions, on the demons and the spirits. If you know you are going to walk in the midst of the difficulty, in the valley, on the mountain, anywhere, and you are going to that top, you are going to that greatness, and you are going to that peak, I said, I said, I said, in Jesus' name we pray. Now the achievers, now the achievers and the conquerors, I don't know whether they are there today or not. I'm looking for them. I'm looking for them. I'm looking for them. The achievers and the conquerors. And now we're going to give, we're going to give an achievers amen. A conquerors amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep those hands up. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you right now. And I want to declare right now, we have all the courage we need. We have all, we have all the conviction we need. And we have all the consecration commitment we need. We have gotten up. We're not going to lie down anymore. Times of crying, over. Times of weeping, over. Times
times of lying down over times of idleness over times of mourning over up 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 we get up now to run in jesus name we're not going to sit back we're not going to look back we're not going to look go back we're going to move on and move forward in jesus name lord we thank you because the road is clear we're ready to run the road is clear we're ready to move the road is clear we're ready to climb the road is clear we're ready to achieve the road is clear i bring every boy every girl hearing the sound of my voice anywhere everywhere i join hands with you i'm taking you to the top we're going to the top the road is clear nothing standing before us we're going to get there together in jesus name as i succeed you will succeed as i make progress you will make progress everywhere i get to you will go there and all of us we will celebrate victory on the mountain top in jesus name tragedy gone sorrow gone weeping gone mourning gone success welcome victory welcome happiness welcome progress welcome prosperity welcome joy welcome we'll go to celebrate our success from now till jesus comes in jesus name we thank you lord because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray Thank you and God bless you.